Um, hello, uh, everybody. Um, uh, my name is Lawrence Frederick Pauli. I'm from Belgium. Um, I am a consultant at Ziri, Zero Emissions Research and Initiative, an organization based in Tokyo. Um, and I am also the founder of the Blue Cluster, which is uh, a network organization based in Belgium for coastal protection and development of marine economy in front of our Belgian coastline. Uh, with us, we have um, Azores-born uh, Guy Menezes. Um, he's a marine biologist uh, studied in Lisbon, um, working now, or when he came back um, at the Azores, as he worked as a researcher, researcher at the University of the Azores in the Department of uh, Oceanography and Fisheries, um, later obtained his PhD in Fisheries and Deepwater Ecology, is now a member of the staff of the University of the Azores and a member of the government of the Azores. Um, so, for our North American friends uh, or audience, tell us where the Azores are and why the archipelago represents such an e economic uh, enormous potential. Okay, good morning, thank you. Um, <coughs> the Azores are uh, located in the middle of Atlantic. Uh, we are uh, nine islands. Uh, we have one of the um, hugest uh, economic exclusive zones. We belong to Portugal. Um, <coughs> And uh, we have about one million kilometers square uh, uh, of, of the economic exclusive zone. Um, our, um, we are a region where the deep sea is surrounding us everywhere. The average depth is 3,000 meters depth. And we have a huge diversity of ecosystems. Uh, we have uh, hydrothermal vents, we have seamounts, we have pl uh, abyssal plain. The mid-Atlantic reach passes in the middle of the Azores. Um, so, and uh, um, these different ecosystems or habitats uh, have um, uh, huge potential because there are, uh, um, deep sea is very unknown and we, uh, we think we have a uh, huge potential for, for example, for biotechnology. We have, of course, uh, organisms that live in extreme environments like hydrothermal vents, like bacteria and other organisms and uh, we have uh, also a, a lot of seamounts, uh, more than 40, 400 seamounts, small and, and, and big ones, uh, and where uh, there are special organisms like sponges and deepwater corals, uh, and um, you know, a diversity of, is, is high. Azores is located also in, in, um, in a trans biogeographic transition zone. zone. So, we have some influence from the southern, uh, or, uh, southern um, bio biogeographic region, subtropical, and also some, from some species from the northern, uh, more northern distribution. So the Azores is, is one of the reasons uh, our deep sea is very diverse, because the two faunas from the northern sounds meet more or less around the Azores. Um, and uh, I think I, it's all. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, if I understand correctly, um, you're the most outermost Portuguese region or territory in the Atlantic um, Ocean. So, tell me, what is special uh, about your structure of the islands? Do you have a regional, a regional government, or how does it work? Okay. Um, as an outermost region, we have a, a special statute under the European Union uh, policies for development. Uh, because we are uh, um, in the middle of Atlantic, uh, we have some um, different characteristics and uh, that um, um, uh, allow us to, to have uh, access to uh, special funds for, from the European Union, for example. Uh, we, have a, uh, we have access to cohesion, cohesion funds, to uh, European regional development funds, to um, European social funds um, and also other, uh, other funds related with, for example, science and, and things like that. Uh, of course, we also have um, access to uh, MMF um, uh, funds, which is for fisheries and maritime issues. Um, and uh, we are a, an autonomic, autonom autonomous region. Um, uh, with a special um, political and administrative uh, statute 
under the, the Portuguese constitution. We have our own legislation, um, uh, administration and financial uh, administration too. Um, the government is organized, we have a, a, a president and um, below the president uh, there are seven uh, secretaries for different areas. Um, we also have our own parliament uh, with the president of the parliament uh, ah, we, and we have a, a vice president of the government of course and um, we have the president of the parliament and about uh, f um, 57 uh, MPs. Uh, and, uh, okay. Interesting. Um, and then, uh, if I understood correctly, you have a secretary of the of the sea. Uh, what is the specific role, or why is it existing? Yes, and, and uh, I have the responsibility to to uh, about on the politics of um, uh, maritime issues, uh, fisheries, science, and technology, okay. and. Um, in this context of, of the, of the uh, Biomarine, I think our organization is very, is very nice because we associate our development regarding the blue economy with science and technology. Our goal on development is uh, and should be, and I think all the countries do the same, should be based on knowledge and um, I think uh, the, um, the government was very fortunate to, 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 to have the Secretary of the Sea linked to the science and technology. Um, my, my, my rule are, is um, very, as you can imagine, very different, um, very different sectors. Um, I'm responsible for marine special planning, for uh, things related with the management of coastal zones, fisheries, um, if, well, many other things, including science, and we have special programs in science, which are complementary of the support that exists at, at the level of, of the of, of Portuguese government. We have special uh, programs um, which are complementary, like uh, grants. We have our own grants for young scientists, uh, postdocs, um, PhDs, etc., and for projects, scientific projects also. Um, so. I think I resume it. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, if I also understood correctly, uh, you have a blue regional strategy with the Azores. Um, I'd like to understand more about it. What, what are the key drivers? What is the, the aim? Okay, as, as an archipelago, uh, uh, a volcanic archipelago in the middle of the Atlantic, we have um, our, our waters are not very productive. Uh, so um, we have a, 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 a huge a huge diversity, let's say, of organisms, but the abundance of, of the organisms are not very huge. So, um, we must, uh, our, for example, our fisheries is uh, mainly artisanal and well um, balanced with the resources that exist there. Uh, our main driver uh, actually is the sustainability of our activities. And this is the primary driver, the conservation of the resources, the protection, uh, and uh, also, um, to promote our society uh, to be more based on knowledge. This is one of, of the key drivers we, we want to achieve. Uh, so, sustainability, conservation of our resources, and uh, uh, um, capacity building of, of, our, uh, uh, of our society to, to promote better politics and our development. Um, we, we have also, um, under the European Union, uh, the regions were uh, uh, built, each, each region built a zone strategy, uh, what we call uh, smart specialization strategies. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the Azores choose three areas, uh, agriculture, mm -hmm. tourism, and the sea. Okay. Uh, so the sea is one of the, of the pillars, let's say, of our development. Um, and I think I resume more or less. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so I remember promoting knowledge, conservation of resource, natural resources, and sustainability as being the three key drivers of your strategy. Um, now, st strategy needs to be implemented. Do you have a, a financial vehicle to, to drive or to push your, your long-term vision? Yes, we have... Uh, we, we, actually, in the source behind, uh, we use the, the, the funds from the European Union. Yeah. Uh, um, as I said, we have several kinds of funds. 
and we design um, different uh, systems of incentives to, to, to startups, to entrepreneurship in the Azores. I believe, uh, I, I don't know uh, all the, the systems in all the countries, yeah. but I believe in the Azores we have one of the best uh, uh, systems of incentives you can find, uh, you, you can't find uh, anywhere. Um, in, in some cases, uh, the incentives are, are can part of them are lost funds, and in some cases can be uh, can attain 85% of lost funds. We also have in the Azores uh, facilities in regarding the taxes. All the taxes in the Azores are lower than in mainland Portugal, for example. Um, so this creates, uh, let's say, an ecosystem to entrepreneurship, yep. which I believe it's it's very good comparative uh, with other 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 other, other regions and, and other places. Um, we also, uh, in regarding the sea, uh, we we also um, have uh, will uh, in the next uh, in the next years. Um, probably next year we will have a new school, a school. Okay. Uh, a C school to, to promote the training of uh, professions linked to the to the business of the sea, blue economy. Uh, it, they can have uh, uh, certifications, different certifications. For example, for for uh, professional divers, professional skippers, uh, for fisheries, uh, recycling uh, our fishermen with new, uh, new 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 technologies and things like that. So um, the school will be, is designed to promote traditional professions and also uh, new and emerging professions that we okay. need for our development. Um, we also will uh, build a, a kind of incubator for startups linked to the blue economy. Uh, this will happen in the next years. Uh, so um, we are, I think, preparing a, a good uh, ecosystems to entrepreneurship on these areas. One of our uh, handicaps, let's say, is uh, we need to attract more uh, companies, we need to attract uh, a more uh, critical mass to support all this. Uh, we have one, one university, one research, and several research centers, but uh, there are some competencies that we must uh, go, uh, uh, that must come from outside and we uh, will try to, to, to obtain that uh, more massical, critical mass to, to the Zors attract. Okay, um, so I see uh, C-School, uh, facilities and, and lower taxes, uh, incentives for startups and incubator, but on the financial aspects, Portugal has implemented uh, what is called the National Blue Fund, and I think your predecessor is um, managing the fund uh, at this yeah. moment. Um, how do you see the use of this fund to foster a blue economy within um, within the Azores? Because it's Portugal based or it's Azor based? Well, uh, I find this this blue fund uh, very interesting, uh, and of course, will be complementary to all the funds we have to invest in the blue economy. Mm -hmm. um, Azorian companies, Azorian people can can uh, can. Um, get some of these uh, of these funds so this is a competitive funds i believe so uh, it's it's a very interesting initiative and very important initiative for for portugal and also for the azores we also real uh, uh, found that uh, ea grants uh, is another kind of funds financed by norway mm -hmm. and Liechtenstein and iceland and okay. um, there are some opportunities of funding there uh, and uh, so far i know but uh, fausto knows better than me that uh, the, the next program of EER grants will be very focused on the linkage between science and, and uh, to, to in the transference between science and economy. Yeah. So the projects that um, have this kind of characteristics will be uh, um, prioritized under this, this, this funds. Um, Okay. Um, earlier you spoke about uh, incentives. Uh, so next to the blue fund, are there other incentives uh, that you could do or offer to foreign businesses to attract your businesses to the Azores? 
Yes, um, I think I already told uh, all the, all yeah, the fans, few uh, a few of them, and also um, I can concretize more, for example, in terms of, uh, first, in terms of taxes in the Azores. Yeah. Uh, I can give you some examples. Uh, uh, we have the lowest corporate income tax uh, in Portugal, we, we have 16.8%. Uh, yeah. um, the lowest personal income tax, which is about uh, more or less 30%, less than in the mainland. Um, we have some exceptions on taxes related with the municipalities. Uh, um, and this kind of taxes are lower in the Azores. Uh, if uh, a company um, um, promote job, jobs uh, qualified, for example, the, all the incentives are majorated, are, are let's say, um, increased for that kind of, of, of companies. Uh, so um, I think, as I said before, um, the incentives we have for, for the entrepreneurship are, are very good, uh, uh, very good in the source, and I think it's appealing. Actually, uh, there is a site uh, online yeah. uh, that, uh, the inter uh, if somebody is interested, it calls SDA, um, A, which is SDEA, which has all the resume of all these uh, different incentives and different programs for different areas. Okay. I can tell you that, for example, for, uh, for projects related with biotechnology and uh, aquaculture, yeah. uh, inside the, 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 the current uh, programs of incentives, this kind of projects will also have uh, a differentiation and um, in, um, additional uh, incentives yeah. for, for promoting this, this emerging, let's say, um, startups and, and uh, initiatives. Okay, uh, interesting. So you've been speaking about um, about promoting and, and incentives. Uh, do you have like a, a successful business case, one or two that you could show as an example of, of how it worked? Uh, yes, uh, we have some some uh, uh, examples. I think one of the best examples we have, uh, and uh, because the blue economy is is very is a very broad, we can. In my opinion, in, in our strategy, um, we can put we we can't put all the eggs in this in, in only one bag, and we have uh, very different activities. One of the most successful activity we have and is increasing is, for example, the whale watching, is uh, or the diving with sharks. This kind of small companies in all islands uh, is an, an industry that has some relevance nowadays. Uh, Small companies that appear recently, I can, call, I can talk about the Flying Sharks. Flying Sharks is a company that, that export a live fish to aquariums all over the world. And they have um, a lot of success and they, have, they, they follow a, a, a strict code of conduct regarding the, 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 the animal uh, uh, well-being. Yeah, and, uh, it's a, it's a successful example of uh, how can a, a startup in the Azores can export a live fish. They develop uh, actually uh, some technology to do that to Israel, to Japan, to United States, to now to everywhere. Other other um, other there is one or two uh, in, in startups in the very beginning uh, on the area of the bi biotechnology. Uh, there is also, for example, another company which is the Fish Matrix, which uses the vision technologies to um, to measure fish, which is part of, of the work that is made by hand by yeah. samplers on arbors. And Fish Matrix develop a system online uh, uh, with cameras on the auction places that uh, measure the fishes aut almost automatically. Um, okay. So, perfect. Um... Um, what is your strategy? Because you now you spoke about about the I think two great examples. Do you have a strategy to attract more blue businesses like you see here into the Azores? Um, well, 
I think the, the strategy is, is, is being built and we are very aligned with the Portuguese strategy for the sea, of course, and the European strategy for the sea. So we are aligned with this, with, with this strategies uh, and with the incubators, with the, with the cluster of the sea we want to promote, uh, with the sea school, with the, the, the promotion of projects, of research projects related with um, biotechnology and aquaculture. Um, I, I think uh, these are um, attracting uh, uh, entrepreneurship to, to, to our economy. We have an um, industry of Canada tuna industry, for example, and, uh, um, which is very important for us. We export uh, many canned tuna with high quality and fresh fish, wild fresh fish. And um, we have special programs also to, to improve these sectors uh, uh, underway. And uh, in terms of aquaculture, we are in the very beginning. Our region is, very, is not very... Um, uh, the aquaculture to be developed in the Azores must be somehow different. And we, we must think on the offshore aquaculture. And uh, uh, we think that uh, the technology start to, to appear regarding the offshore technology. We have a lot of space around. Uh, and um, we think uh, next year we will have uh, projects on this here and we are uh, very um, looking forward to, to the success of, of this first projects to, to attract more, more projects on this here. Yes. Okay, good. Um, so if you have speak about blue business in the Azores, um, does the government have a, a few priorities or key focuses that you, that you would like to see more uh, developed? Um, deep sea, for example? Uh, well, as I said, uh, we, don't, we don't want to put all the eggs in the, in the bag. Yeah. Uh, and um, um, I think we, we are in a, in, a, in, a, in a time where we want to consolidate the traditional sector, the fisheries, yeah. because the fisheries are very valuable and have a, a, a very a high social and economic importance for the Azores. Yeah. Uh, we must um, uh, um, promote the um, human capacity building to, to support all this. This is one of the, our priorities yeah. in, in all the science, beginning in the fisherman uh, and the new em and emerging professions. Um, and I think this should be uh, also uh, bottom up but, and also top down interaction between yeah. these this, uh, this things. Uh, I can give you a, a focus because uh, the Azores are. are we have many different uh, er, uh, sectors linked to the sea that, um, but of course, the deep sea and the open ocean uh, is what differentiates the Azores from the rest. And yeah. I think uh, uh, these environments can um, give us uh, and have uh, um, a huge potential to develop uh, the blue economy in the Azores, linked with science and knowledge. Okay, so um, if I hear a lot of opportunities to be seized. Now, uh, to conclude, because I think we only have uh, two minutes left, okay. um, some touristy tips or maybe education, incentives or, or whatever uh, to convince our audience here to come and visit uh, the archipelago in uh, the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, uh, apart from the fact that the islands are very beautiful and I think all the, all the people would like to, to go there, uh, I'm suspicious because I'm born there, but I think... I think you will be surprised if you visit the Azores. Um, for example, the, the water's temperature uh, varies between 50 in the winter and 24 in the summer. Um, so, uh, apart from this, uh, these aspects, uh, I think our location, and we have a good connections to both sides of the Atlantic. Um, we have... Um, an university there, research centers, um, is a, a safe place, uh, probably the safest place. <laughs> uh, um, so, um, and with these incentives we have to entrepreneurship, uh, I think um, it, you should you should go to the Azores. Uh, uh, it's um, you will be surprised. Um, and will be an honor to receive you there if you if you go there. I think it would be our pleasure to come. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And, um, oh?
I hope everybody will find it interesting. Thank you.